On September 23rd, the Dongkou Bus Company in Xiaoyang City, Hunan Province, announced that due to not receiving financial subsidies from the government for over three years, they had to bear significant operational losses, owing more than 10 million RMB in employee salaries and retirement benefits. The company will suspend all bus routes starting on September 30th, 2023. The company is one of many to owe employee salaries. The Tianjin Public Transportation Company, with 18,300 employees, recently owed salaries and stopped medical insurance for three months. Additionally, bus drivers in Tai'an town Shandong province went on strike last month to demand unpaid wages. Meanwhile, Chinese officials are spending enormous sums to organize the Hangzhou Asian Games. Until now, 56 competition venues and 31 training facilities have been constructed for the Games. There's even a joke online that the Hangzhou city government wants to paint it if they see a dog. An online video revealed that Hangzhou invested 30 billion RMB, approximately 4.1 billion USD, in surrounding roadside trees with stainless steel barriers, equipping bus stops with individual air conditioning, providing luxurious amenities on the subway, and even having park benches with charging ports. According to VOA, as of 2020, the Hangzhou Asian Games had invested approximately over $2.7 billion, or 20 million RMB, in transportation infrastructure, competition venues, accommodations, and other facilities. In addition to this spending, to highlight the grandeur of the Hangzhou Asian Games, Beijing even sent a unique plane to Syria, thousands of kilometers away, to welcome President Bashar al-Assad, who has been internationally sanctioned for over a decade. Regarding the reason the Chinese regime is heavily invested in organizing the games despite the severe economic downturn, Jules Boykoff, a political sports scholar at Pacific University, believes that the event showcases China's domestic strength and can be used to present the country's positive aspects to the world, especially when Western countries have doubts about China's economy. In addition to foreign officials, foreign delegation members attending the Games have received extravagant treatment, sparking criticism online. At Hangzhou Airport, volunteers escort guests to the media center, provide transportation, luggage carts, bicycles, accommodations, restaurants, supermarkets, commercial streets, and even photo check-in points about every 16 feet, or 5 meters. The media center covers an area of almost 540,000 square feet. 50,000 square meters, with thousands of workstations and tens of thousands of reporters working there. Restaurants are serving four meals punctually. The media center's special bus runs every 10 minutes from 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. without fail.